Hi there, Blair Williams here again. Uh, this tutorial is on uh, keyboard replacements in Pretty Link Pro. And uh, to start off, uh, now that we've got it installed and everything's ready to go, uh, let's just go down to our Pro options here. And we're going to want to click on Keyword and URL Replacement Options. All right. The default is that Keyword and URL replacements are enabled. Uh, but you, you don't have to worry about uh, Pretty Link going through and replacing keywords throughout your site randomly because uh, nothing, you know, no keywords will be replaced until you create Pretty Links that are associated with those keywords. And so anyway, um, let's just look at some of the options that we have available to us. The first one that's also uh, on by default is Enable Content Replacements Caching. Uh, now, just to so you know what that is, um, content replacement caching is because it is necessary because uh, the replacement algorithm is actually pretty intense, and so if um, you know you had to reload all of your replacements every single time someone loads one of your posts or pages, uh, it could really degrade the performance of your blog. So uh, I've put this uh, content replacement caching in so that uh, it doesn't have to you know calculate those replacements every single time. Uh, somebody loads up the page. And uh, now this option is not quite as necessary if you have another plugin like uh, WP Super Cache or something like that running because that will cache it. You can choose to leave this on or off, uh, but you might as well leave it on. It doesn't hurt anything uh, even if Super Cache is installed. Um, and if you really run into problems, you can, uh, you can always delete your content cache. Um, if you have problems with it updating somehow. Um, so let's take a look here at our keyword thresholds as well. We can set thresholds on how many uh, keywords are replaced on a post and how many times those keywords are replaced on a post. These thresholds are meant to uh, help your blog to not look like it's kind of spammy. Uh, you're not replacing too many links uh, throughout the site. And so um, this first value, we're going to keep it at three. That's the number of keywords on a page that you can replace. So like if I see uh, three different words, they, they have to be different and distinct keywords, um, or, or say, say there were five keywords, I could only replace three of them uh, with this value. And this value here, maximum replacements per keyword per page, that's basically, okay, those three keywords, how many instances of those keywords can I replace? So if I see uh, the word um, Canada three times in a blog post, well, I can only replace two of those. And the thing that's kind of uh, cool about Pretty Link is it won't just replace the top two keywords, it will actually just pick uh, random placements for it. So if, uh, if I had 10 uh, instances, the instances of the world, word Canada, then Pretty Link might go in and replace the fourth instance or the eighth instance. You know, it, it'll replace uh, just randomly. Uh, you can also open up your Pretty Links in a new window. You can add the uh, no follow attribute to your, your your Pretty Links. We're going to go ahead and enable those, and then you can add custom CSS styling for your keyword replacements. And I'm just going to add some here, uh, some, just a very simple. Um, CSS uh, uh, command here to just color the links red. And that's basically so that we can see them <laughs> when we go to the site. So let's enable that and go take a look at the, uh, the page here. Okay, now as you can see here, I don't see any red links anywhere. And I think that the reason, well the reason that that's the case is that we haven't set any pretty links up yet to correspond with the keywords. So let's go down here and create one. And I'm going to just have this link go to uh, CNN.com. And in my Pretty Link Pro options, I come down here to Keywords. And I'm going to replace the word uh, Ipsum here. All right, now if I come over here to this blog and I hit refresh, there. 
you can see that uh, Ipsum is replaced on the blog here. Uh, two instances of it are replaced. Uh, let's go ahead and add another pretty link here. This one will go to Canada.com here. And let's just replace um, this word here. And if we come back here to the blog, you know, we can see that that one's replaced as well. And so we could keep going and, and, uh, and create links here. Let's just take a look at what happens when we turn some of those thresholds off. So the thresholds are, you know, like I said, are there to, to keep the blog from looking too spammy, but we can always uh, shut those off. And then we can replace every single instance of the keywords. So if you come through here now, now look at all of these ipsums that have, have been replaced now. And so that should be all for this uh, tutorial. Uh, until the next one.